Hello friends and welcome to IQ Dude. This is an interesting problem with two overlapping circles. Draw two overlapping equal circles. The distance AB between the centers of the circles is x. The radii of the circles equal x as well. Now your task is to express the overlapping green area of the two circles as a function of x. You can pause the video now if you want to try on your own before I show you the answer. So the area that is overlapping is made up of two parts that are equal. We need to find the area of one of these parts and then multiply it by two. Let C be the midpoint of the segment AB. Because the two circles have the same radii, the segment AC will equal half of the radius, which is x divided by 2. We will get the green area by subtracting the area of the sector ADBE by the triangle ADE. The triangle ADC is half of the area of the triangle ADE. And as you can see, we already have two sides of this triangle. The hypotenuse is the radius, which is x, and the base is the radius divided by 2, x divided by 2. How do we get the side of this triangle? We can call the side y. Well, easy by utilizing the Pythagorean theorem. So y equals the hypotenuse squared minus the base squared and the root of this expression. And this equals, well, that's 3 quarters of x squared. The root of that and this equals x and the root of 3 divided by 2. So this is y. This is the side of the triangle. We get the area of the triangle ADC by multiplying the base with the x divided by 2 times the side and uh, dividing this expression by 2. Well, in this case, we don't have to divide it by 2 because, remember, we want the area of the triangle ADE, which is time two, times 2 of the area of the triangle ADC. So this expression will be the area of the triangle ADE, which is x squared, the root of 3 divided by 4. So this is the... Um, area of the triangle ADE. We're halfway there. Now we just need to find out the area of the sector ADBE. So of this part. And we can do that by calculating this, um, this angle. So we need the angle of this sector. Half of this angle is this angle, angle DAC equals the angle DAE divided by 2. And we want this angle. This angle we can get by using cosine, right? Because we have the base here and we have the hypotenuse. So the base divided by the hypotenuse equals cosine of the angle DAC and this can be easily expressed uh, we can just take away the excess so this equals a half right it's just a half one divided by two left and then we can use the function of arc sine uh, to get the angle DAC an arc sine of a half is 60 degrees. Remember that we want DAE, so we need to multiply this by 2. So the angle DAE equals 120 degrees, which is one third of 360 degrees. So the segment ADBE is one third of the area of the circle. One third of the area in, of the circle is uh, is um, x squared pi divided by three. So now we can easily express the area of this green part 
because remember we already have an expression of the area of this triangle ADE we already have an expression of the area of the sector ADB which is x squared pi divided by 3 so we get the green part by taking the area of the sector minus this expression the area of the triangle ADE and we can simplify this a bit by writing x squared pi divided by 3 minus the root of 3 divided by 4 so this my friends is the expression of this green area here but remember that we wanted the full green area which is also this is just half of the green area we also have a part here of the green area the other overlapping part so we need to multiply this expression by 2 so the answer is that the area the green area as a function of x is 2x squared pi over 3 minus the root of 3 over 4 that's the answer I hope you enjoyed this video my friends and if you like it please like and subscribe leave a comment and see you in the next one